I'm becoming a little bit weary. Bro, I'm seeing this one lawyer in every lawsuit. And it's always a bunch of salacious information and charges. Which it seems this lawyer is definitely trying to take down Diddy. But I, I can imagine they probably don't care about Diddy. They, they care about a payday. The Little Rod lawsuit only really got better, like, like from a legal perspective, after the raid. Why? It started to specifically name in detail about people that the raid had in handcuffs or arrested. A lot of people are saying, like, even though whatever the allegations may be, it was a planned thing media-wise. Diddy's in trouble. The feds obviously is raided his Civil suits have mentioned Justin Combs. The person who has not gotten mentioned is Christian Combs. There is now a lawsuit that hasn't been filed yet. It's not even been filed. And this is where I'm like, yo, bro, th there's some cloud chasing happening now, right? So Diddy's other son is getting accused of assaulting and dr drugging a woman. Now... I'm going to be honest with you. I would have probably like look at this a little bit, but it's coming from the same attorney that's represented like as that's literally walking around and looking around to try to figure out, yo, have you been like, you, do you have you hung out with these guys? Are you down to like file a lawsuit? It's the same lawyer for Lil Rod. It's the same lawyer for like a, a bunch of other complaints against other people. And it almost feels a little bit ambulance chases because again, the Diddy sh we're really investigating like his real now it comes out Christian Combs is being named in a Lumen lawsuit. You know what it means? It's not even filed yet. Accusing the rap star of assaulting and drugging a woman. The lawsuit against Combs, the son of the, the embattled rap mogul Diddy, has yet to be officially filed, but it's currently in the works, according to attorney. And th this is where I'm starting to like, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming a little bit weary. Bro, I'm seeing this one lawyer in every lawsuit in every lawsuit and it's always a bunch of salacious information and charges do you get what i'm saying also if we really think about it um the first little rod lawsuit there was a lot of incorrectness and inconsistencies that was disproven immediately the people who you photo but blurred out their face that were underage they weren't underage now the same lawyer which it seems this lawyer is definitely trying to take down diddy but i, I could imagine they probably don't care about diddy they, they care about a payday, right? The current, uh, it's in the works according to this, this attorney. So now the attorney is reaching out to blogs, reaching out to news outlets to tell them about lawsuits they haven't even filed yet against people we've never heard allegations against. Respectfully, I've never heard an allegation against Christian Combs. Yes, you could say his daddy is Diddy, but come on, bro. Like, are you saying that everybody that's, that every sperm that Diddy ever produced is a mother whatever? I'm not saying Diddy, I'm not saying Diddy is innocent, people. I'm Make this clear. I'm not saying Diddy's innocent. By the way, Cassie isn't represented by this guy. The 17-year-old, I also believe, isn't represented by this. It's only Lil Rod, and then there's a other, bunch, bunch of other little cases, but those cases seem a little bit like, seems like cheap attempts to get in the news to hopefully someone pays out money. It's a shakedown. Yo, I'm going to get you bad press. We don't even really got to go to court. Just give me some bread. And when you give me some bread, I will just get rid of it. But right now, Diddy looks horrible. So it's easy to get press on anything Diddy related. Oh, something, something, something Diddy. His son. So I'm not defending Christian Combs. But now watch this. The rapper who performs on his stage name King Combs has been romantically linked to multiple women during his time in the spotlight. Um, he dated his ex-girlfriend, Bria Hayes, for several years. He's currently dating Raven Tracy, who recently got um, his name tied on her body. Um... The claims made against him have been described as serious and thrust him into the vortex of shocking claims surrounding his father. As Diddy has been hit with several lawsuits in the last couple of months, the, the lawyer has previously represented clients in litigations against celebrities such as T.I. and Tiny. So all those women that accused T.I. and Tiny, he represented the majority of them. Also, he represented um, a few people going against Nikki, allegedly. And also is the attorney for Lil Rod. And also is the attorney for this mystery woman against Christian Combs. I'm not going to jump to speculation. We haven't even heard any real accusations or allegations against Christian Combs. And this is the, the trash part of all of this. While we're looking to hold people accountable, while we're looking for the truth, here's the thing. If your name gets even brought up in this, just off of this headline, Christian Combs, even though like, you know, it might already be up because you know he's pretty much a twin of his dad like he looks exactly like diddy some of his situations might be slowed up 
But now y'all 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 got some random accusation of him acting like, and, and you know the public is gonna read it like, oh okay, like father like son. They were probably all doing all this in a freak off. No, and, and and I feel bad for that because like I do think the Combs life are irreparably damaged, and I'm saying that because maybe it was only Diddy doing it. Again, I don't know, but the son's life, their career, you know this guy raps, right? You know what's funny about Kodak saying, I ain't on some Diddy, blah, 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 blah. You know who Kodak got a song with? Diddy's son. So, you know, I do want us to kind of, as we get some of these allegations, we got to start slowing down a bit and start to use multiple sources to corroborate. And even though we are going to be shocked by some of the salacious details of what we're seeing, like, for example, you do realize this Little Rod situation we're more like, let me give you, this is my honest opinion about the Little Rod like lawsuit. The first lawsuit they filed were, was completely garbage. It was trash, but it, it, it had salacious information in it. There were misspells. You, you know who hit me up about that lawsuit? Lawyer for Workers. He said, yo, I'm an actual attorney, and this is one of the worst lawsuits I've ever read. There's so much incorrect information. There's so much misspellings. This seems like an amateur job. That's what he told me. And I said, hey, people are kind of looking at this attorney based on the, the the clients that they're trying to procure, look like they're trying to do shakedowns of people. Now, granted, one of those clients is going at Diddy, who has a federal case, but it's not because of Little Rod. It's because of Cassie. And that's the thing that people are now thinking. It's not Little Rod. Little Rod hasn't even, from what I understand, hasn't came forward and corroborated these things. Most of what Little Rod is saying is, is, is repeated rumors that have existed in the industry. Now, has he been around Diddy? Of course. Is he telling the truth some places? Yes. And also, here's the thing about the Little Rod lawsuit. The Little Rod lawsuit only really got better, like, like from a legal perspective, after the raid. Why? It, it started to specifically name in details about people that the raid had in handcuffs or arrested. Brendan Paul, the guy who was the drug mule, he wasn't in the Little Rod's loss, or he wasn't really named specifically in detail as doing sh He wasn't until the amendment to the lawsuit came, and then they have all type of pictures of him, and all type of, oh, we have video of him, he came with coke. Well, well, if he was that important to the story, and now TMZ got him up there as the drug mule for Diddy that's bringing the drugs to all the freak-offs, why didn't your lawsuit initially mention the guy and detail him as such? Only after the raid and this guy went to jail, then they amended it and they're like catching up. And I'm like, now, granted, th to me, this has nothing to do with the feds. The feds, I particularly don't think the feds are going off of what Little Rod said. The feds talked to Cassie. That's what I believe happened. They probably talked to Little Rod, but I believe primarily they're going off of what Cassie and that 17 year old at the time was saying. I think that Cassie has detailed a scenario to the feds. That is is so um, that is so vivid that that lawsuit that was filed pales in comparison, pales in comparison. And again, I guarantee they offered her immunity because there might be things done, drugs that she gave. Who knows if she's she's probably had a whole session with the feds and probably told him, yeah, he, he had me carry his weapons, too. He had he put his gun up in my purse and it's fine and I did carry it, which that's a crime. That is a crime. So for her to admit all that, they're gonna have to say we're gonna give you immunity. We'll never charge you, just as you know. So you could tell us. The allegations are swarming. It's not looking good, man. What are your thoughts? Thoughts are after selling Revolt, which is a good move, you gotta think Diddy Money is gonna be pretty much frozen as far as how you can make money. No right. one wants him a part of brand. You don't want to uh, impede on Revolt's progress. They've come so far. You know what I mean? It's not like it was Diddy's. Diddy's Diddy was just a partner, so which is why he probably separated himself so Revolt wouldn't suffer. You know? Yeah, and plus sponsors are already falling back since the first allegations with Cassie and that lawsuit, and then it wasn't really too profitable, so money was bleeding when it came to his pockets. So he was losing money. It was more of a passion project at at this point. But why not? You know, sell it off, make what you can make as far as drinks and all that stuff. That's pretty much done. Performances right now are pretty much done. Oh so, yeah. Uh, 
you see that he went on his last little run like in 2023 doing like the breakfast club maybe he knew like okay this cassie stuff may set off a domino effect let me do my little bad boy stuff reunion yeah get some shows out the way so i'm I'm sure he may have not known like the raid was coming to that magnitude but that was that was hard though man they do the like kingpins bro like it's homeland security yeah Uh, it was that was the talk of Miami, you know, Star Island, that area. They shut down that whole road leading up to his crib. And um, a lot of people are saying, like, even though whatever the allegations may be, it was a planned thing media wise because he had a spot in um, L.A. That was mm-hmm. rated at the same time as Miami. But, you know, when you got a star like that, they all going to be aligned with each other. Like, yo, at three o'clock, we about to. Well, it up. has to be because if you do one and I know you did one, what do you think? What you think you're gonna do? You're gonna go whatever you have to do to the other one. You get yeah. what I mean? Just that's from a media perspective. A, a media smart, perspective, yeah. That's a smart move in general. Hit all mm. the houses at one time, cause no, no, of course. But just from a media perspective, like, okay, I understand, yeah, raid when you got someone that has hundreds of millions to billions, of course, yeah. You got a spot in LA, New York, Miami, this and that. Okay, let's all talk to the same, you know, judge or whoever, the courts. But as far as media wise, like inside of the house, the raid, the pictures, I'm like, dang, I didn't think that stuff gets released that quick. Oh, wait, yeah. they got inside the house? Yeah, they got inside footage and the only person that will send that footage in my opinion is you know law enforcement no one of his team's gonna do that they don't even want you know yeah why would they take pictures of them yeah that's definitely law enforcement and you know tmz they got you know a lot of connections allegedly so if something happened you're gonna see tmz logo in the background which it was tmz that released that uh inside yeah yeah you know they take pride in being the first being the uh, harvey whatever his name is as far as diddy though man do you think um it's officially a rap we spoke on it before like okay maybe you know based off the allegations let's see what happens but just by him offering mm-hmm. revolt do you think it's, it's all um it's compounding it's like too much at this point i mean i still hope justice is played out but it's just it's looking it's, it's not looking great bro it's definitely looking bad and it's just everything surrounding him too like the the alleged drug mule he got arrested like they they bringing down everyone around him too it's not just oh diddy and these allegations like no let's yeah. see oh yeah you think see. they're gonna question young miami yeah man she um uh, she denying it they saying that she was you know a, a worker worker if if you know what i'm saying and um so she's denying it saying that she never dealt with any drugs or any stuff like that or but um, they got yeah, to. Crazy. They got to. If, if Cassie may be allegedly still being, you know, cooperating based off her attorneys and lawyer comments, mm-hmm. even though she's settled in her situation, she knows a lot of alleged stuff from like 2008 or nine or whenever they started dating right. to like 2018. So she's like one of the head of the snakes as far as information. Same with Young Miami. They've been locked in for a few years to some yeah, capacity. Yeah. Even if they don't know the entirety. Yeah, to know something. Of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's definitely some information, so she need to be on the lookout. I'm sure she's lawyered up. I'm sure Diddy be like, "Look, man, I got you, man. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna make yeah. it out of this." And um, even uh, Fifty Cent, uh, baby mom, she's alleged Yo. to be one of those workers. I saw that. I saw that. The typical Fifty Cent um fashion. He makes the old joke out of it. Fifty Cent ain't never phased. Oh yeah. And now she throwing some allegations at him, abuse and other type of yeah, R word situations. Yeah. Ah. So now, you know, okay, now he on he on defense mode now. Like, okay, I was making jokes because he it looked like he trying to file for full custody of their kids. So that may be a, you know, a little domino oh, effect. He trying so, to yeah, that's that's actually yeah. But now she's, she's saying, no, oh, you, yeah, you did this and that. And he denied it, of course. And I'm sure he got his team ready. Like, okay, you making some alleged false allegations. Oh, you wanna, this is how you want to do it? Okay. 